the man, the myth, the legend, Lucio Fulci. All us horror hounds love him. We can't get enough of him. And I'll tell you what, I cannot get enough of this biopic. This was amazing. Fulci for Fate, 2019, directed and written by Simone Scafidi. And this is uh, almost like a take on F for Fake, uh, the Orson Welles biopic, which was really odd and trippy. Uh, this is a bit different. It's about Nicola Nocelli, an actor that is going to betray Lucio Fulci in the film about his life. Oh yeah, let's do it. Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Thursday reviewer, Chris, from Crispy Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B-movies. And I got my little Santa shirt on because today I'm giving you a gift in a review of Fulci for Fake, man. And if you don't own this right now, like buy it right now. Pause and buy it. Yeah, I'll even let you pause this so you can buy this amazing biopic film about Lucio Fulci. You learn so much about him. The trials and tribulations that he went through in his life, as well as in making films, because he was a true artiste in the filmmaking community. So, Nicola Nocella, and I'm going to say this, I'm not sure if this movie it, it is a real movie that they want to do, and this guy's going to betray him, or it's like a mock thing. I, I'm really not sure, but I really, um, doing research, really haven't found a whole lot about this actual biopic that uh, Nicola Nocelli is going to play Fulci in. So, um... If it happens, I am so down for it. Like, seriously, man. I gotta find a theater that shows it and, and go. Hopefully this pandemic thing will be over by then. Um, because I was so intrigued within the story of Lucio Fulci. So it's a guy who's willing to portray him. And the beginning scene is absolutely priceless. It shows him in full costume, looking just like Fulci, just looking in a mirror. And it's so gripping. And it's like... I was like shivering. I was like getting goosebumps. It was just unbelievable. And then he just takes the uh, latex off his face, the face mask he has on, and he just it just shows him. But wow, such an amazing, amazing biopic. So in order to portray Lucio Fulci, he has to learn as much about him as he can, and he wants to know like everything. And so he meets up with the people that pretty much knew him the best, his two daughters. Um... One, he was a little bit closer with. But we find out that Lucio Fulci wasn't a huggy and kissy dad. Um, he, he had his own way of loving his kids. And um, when his daughter talks about the last time uh, she saw her father, he actually put his hand on hers and, and held her hand. She's like, it was like almost like getting a hug from my dad. Um, and his time was consumed in, in watching and, and not only watching, but making movies, directing movies. Um, that was his life, and he was a true art, artiste and auteur. Um, he was a man of, of high intellect, and if you had high intellect, you were able to communicate with him. So we learn a lot about Lucio Fulci. Um, Fabio Fritzi, the composer, talks a lot about Lucio Fulci and working with him and everything. And it's so great to have. Fabio Fritzi is an amazing composer. Just absolutely amazing. And it was so cool to hear him actually talk about working with Lucio Fulci. Um, Sergio Salvate, the cinematographer that worked a lot with Lucio Fulci, um, talks candid about having some amazing conversations and working with him. And that at times Lucio could be really grumpy, but he just wanted to get the most out of people. And he figured that was probably the best way to do it. Um, and Michelle Zawave who you, I mean, if you watch Lucio Fulci films in Italian cinema, you know all about him and his films. He talks a lot about uh, Lucio Fulci. Um, <clears throat> Paolo Malco, who's an actor, was in some Fulci films, talks in great detail about being very close to him. So you learn so much about the man himself, Lucio Fulci. And Nicole feels like, from what he, he has a good idea of what to portray, but he still doesn't know him. So the last person he meets with is one of his daughters. And she really says, look, in order for you to really know who my father was, you're going to be him behind the camera. <laughs> you're going to be him directing his films. That's how you get to know him best, is to be behind the camera. And I found that just so intriguing and just so interesting. And <laughs> up until that point, he learned a lot about him, but being able to portray him, he really wanted to know him. And unless you know him yourself... It makes it virtually impossible to get it right because it seems like a person really wants to get this right and to do him justice and um, 
to not let him down. Um, because that is a big, big responsibility is doing a biopic and getting that person down uh, and knowing everything you can about them. Um, it'd be better if you actually spent time with the person and met the person. Then you can get really inside them and really know what makes them tick. And then, um, But if you've never met somebody, talking to people who are closest to them is probably the best it's going to get. So at the end, at one point, he picks up some dirt, um, Nicole, and he just gives you a smile to the camera. He's like, I think I got this. You know, but what a big opportunity when you're playing Lucio Fulci in the very first biopic film to be able to portray him and, and show it justice. That is a big responsibility. And it seems this guy is all about it. He will do anything he can to, to, to get this down and to do it right. And that means talking to a lot of people who worked with Fulci, who knew him best, his friends and everything like that. It is a fascinating documentary. I could have watched another eight hours of this. It was an hour and 30 minutes, and I'm telling you. If this was eight hours longer, I would have sat by that TV for eight hours watching it, and I would enjoy it every minute. Um, it was so well done. It was absolutely spot on perfect. And this film looks amazing. Now, I'm not sure if this biopic film about his life is ever going to come out. I don't know if it's a mock thing, but I really hope it does because I think Nicola Nocelli would do a really good job because he put a really lot of effort into this biopic uh, documentary film about the man himself. I urge you, if you're a Fulci fan or even heard of him, pick this up. It's one of the greatest biopic documentaries I have ever seen. It is absolutely amazing. And I would say watch Austin Wells' F for Fake and get that through a Criterion. That's really good as well. It'll be really odd and trippy, but a fun a fun watch too. But yeah, Lucio Fulci, man. If you're everything about Fulci and you don't own this, like buy it now. It's like a no-brainer. This is amazing. And the print looks amazing. Severin did an amazing job with this. I just thank Severin for putting this out. Um, and I plan to watch this about a thousand more times. <laughs> All right, a trillion. I don't think there's enough numbers to say how many times I'm going to watch this, but I will watch this often. Um, and I just want to show this disc up. Like, um, this slipcover is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, if you can see it. Oh, yeah, great slipcover. Real nice hard slipcover. And uh, this has tons of extras as well, um, including crew, more crew interviews. Um, Camilla Fulci, uncut. Um, Camilla Fulci is Lucia Fulci's daughter, and she went through a real tragic accident. Um, and Lucio took it really hard, really bad. And she was an equestrian. She liked riding horses. And Lucio Fulci was all about riding horses himself. So he was able to bond with his daughter in that way. And when she got in the accident, he took it really bad. And he, yeah, he really blamed himself for it. Um, and then she had a lot of... Uh, medical issues along the way and you'll see when she does her interview but she just has that smile and glow about her and um it's kind of refreshing to watch so that was uh that was a great part of, of Fulci for fake i just want to say that but 100 uh, percent, pick this up it's one of the best i'm gonna give it 100 out of 100 10 out of 10 this is not in any cheese omelet this is absolutely 10 out of 10 it's an absolutely perfect bio biopic documentary and like pick this up now Absolutely pick it up. This beautiful lenticular cover. Although you won't be able to see it on this phone, see? Oh, uh, this camera. Yeah, but it's a beautiful lenticular cover. And I, I, I'll tell you something. An amazing, uh, absolutely amazing, amazing. I can't say good enough things about it. Just pick it up now from Severin. Well, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, just uh, amazing, amazing, amazing biopic and, and just an amazing film. Um, there's a first time for everything, and I think there's a first time you see this amazing biopic so yeah pick it up now and i've said that about a million times but i just can't say it enough anyways thank you so much for watching uh, please watch all the other body bags guys they all bring a lot of passion to the table and they all love movies just like we do oh yeah and uh please subscribe to body bags and crispy movies if you like like if you like and uh, tune in next week because mm, you never know what i'm gonna bring to the table hopefully something christmasy and fun <laughs> and oh don't forget to watch those late night horror movies Read up on your latest Fright Max. Don't forget to tune in to another episode of the show we call Body Bags. Oh, yeah. And if you don't, you may uh, be a victim in a... <laughs> or a victim, get a victim killing in a Lucio Fulci film. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of slicing and dicing done in Fulci films, and <laughs> you may get the same fate <laughs> if you don't pick up this film. Later, guys. See ya.